Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Today, we're going to be opening some old school basketball cards. That's right. We've got some old school packs here. You saw me pick these up at an antique mall flea market uh, in my most recent video this past weekend, and I'm excited to get into them. I don't think there's anything like big time in terms of rookies, but you know these inaugural spot Skybox cards always look really cool. And then the 1993-94 Top Series 1 basketball cards have a Tops Gold card in every pack. And if we can somehow get ourselves a Michael Jordan, that would be really, really valuable. And then you can also see special Topps Black Gold, which are some of my favorite cards uh, ever inserted back in the 90s. An 89 to 93 Top 5 draft pick is randomly inserted. I don't know if they put odds back here back in the day. Oh, they do. Topps Gold card, uh, 1 in 1.02. That's kind of strange. Topps Black Gold is 1 in 72 packs. Topps Black Gold winner card for 13 Topps Black Gold cards of redemption uh, is 1 in 144. Those redemptions used to be the most awesome things you could ever get. So obviously the redemptions are probably <laughs> are definitely outdated by now. But let's go ahead and open up one of these packs. Jordan is going to be the number one target on here, or in these packs, excuse me. I haven't opened these packs in a long, long time. 1993, 1994, I was, wow, I was in uh, middle school, I guess, junior high. Look at this, D. Brown. Remember when he won, won the dunk contest with that kind of controversial, I guess, could he see, could he not see, no-look dunk? D. Brown for the Boston Celtics. Are they stuck together? Just a little bit. Rumiel, uh, Rumiel Robinson there, number two with John Starks in the background here, trying to steal the ball from him. They are stuck just a smidge, but not too bad. Dave Johnson looks like it's going to be card number three. I can peel it off there. There he is, Dave Johnson. Don't remember him for the Portland Trailblazers. Mookie Blaylock. It's going to be card number four for the Atlanta Hawks. Okay, someone's going to have to look this up. Didn't the band Pearl Jam, weren't they going to name themselves Mookie Blaylock after him? I feel like that was like one of their like original names. He, um, Eddie Vedder was about to name them Mookie Blaylock. There's Jay Humphreys. Oh, here's our gold card right in the middle. We have Reggie Williams in that old school Nuggets with a little Captain C right there. You don't see that very often. Tops gold of Reggie Williams. So that is our one gold card for this pack. We've got a Clarence Weatherspoon. All rookie team. Oh, and a Shaquille O'Neal. These are stuck together. Gonna have to be really careful here. Nice. We've got the all rookie team, Clarence Weatherspoon, and obviously Shaq is the headliner there of the two. Edge right there is a little bit sketchy looking, but that's still a pretty nice one. We'll get that out of the glare here in a minute. We've got an Akeem Olajuwon card. Looks like NBA um, top rankings here for block shots. Number one in block shots. All-star second team. Pretty cool, Akeem Olajuwon. We've got a Dave Jamerson right there for the Houston Rockets. A Dale Davis, a young Dale Davis, getting ready to try to block a shot from the Orlando Magic. And then Hall of Famer Chris Mullen in NBA Dream Teamer is next. He also has the C on his uniform. That's pretty cool. Don't really think NBA players or teams put Cs on their uniform anymore. Is that really a thing? I know baseball did that. Jason Veritek always was kind of famously wore the letter C for the Boston Red Sox. I don't really know if any other teams for the Cubs still do that. I feel like that's kind of an old school type of a deal. Here we got a 50-point club staring us right in the face. David Robinson, 50-point club. That's pretty neat. Um, career high 52. This is before he scored what 71 that one that last game of the season, so he could win the win the uh, scoring title. Dale Ellis, there we jumped over him. Loy Vaught for the Clippers. Next is Michael Williams. Michael spelled opposite of Michael Jordan. The A and the E are switched. And these two are not wanting to come apart. There's Michael Williams for the T-Wolves. And then our gold card is Lionel Simmons. Not very well centered there. Going up against Chris Mullins. Lionel Simmons. We'll put that right there. Very off-centered. But Oh, we have two gold cards in this one. That's pretty cool. Didn't really know you are supposed to get two gold cards. We got a Sedale Threet. Looks kind of like Nick Van Exel. The bald head there. Sedale Threet is our second gold card. That's pretty neat. We've got an all-rookie team of Anthony Peeler. Anthony Peeler is from Kansas City and went to the University of Missouri. I remember getting his autograph at a, just a college basketball game when I was a kid, and I was just so, um, wow, I was so just on top of the world to get Anthony Peeler's autograph, and then obviously he played in the NBA. That's a really good one. There's Charles Oakley. We've got a Reggie Miller right here, NBA rankings, three-point percentage. Tops all-star third team. Reggie Miller. John Stockton is going to be behind this card. Malik Seeley. Sorry, Malik. There's John Stockton, Topps All-Star first team. John Stockton, first in assists per game. 
And then Alonzo Morning. There, looks like he's releasing the bullet of a floater or something there. <laughs> this guy looks like he's trying to get out of the way. I don't know what's going on right there. So pack number two is down. I like the Anthony Peeler, the second team all rookie card. We had two gold cards in that one. Still probably Shaq is the best one that we have so far. We're waiting for MJ. We'll see if he can make his debut here, maybe in this third pack. Marlon Maxey for the T-Wolves is first. He's stuck to Jay Humphreys. Have we already seen that? I feel like we've already seen that. Donald Hodge is third, and these are kind of turning into a bit of a brick here. Donald Hodge for the Dallas Mavericks. And then Vinny Del Negro, who was a coach. I don't think he's still a, he might still be a coach, but I don't know, he used to be. There's Terry Davis for the Mavericks. He is stuck to Christian Leitner. Obviously an amazing college player. Never quite had the NBA career that some thought he would. One of the original Dream Teamers. The only college player on that original NBA Dream Team. Um, Christian Leitner, the top gold card. Here we have another Reggie Miller. Is first place in three-point field goals per game with two three-pointers per game. Jeez, that just shows you how much the game has changed. 2.04 three-point field goals per game was first place in the NBA. And now I don't even want to know what guys like Harden and Steph Curry, they average. We've got a Denver Mahmoud Abdul-Raouf. He changed his name. I can't remember what his name was before that. Remember, he was always kind of a controversial figure because he wouldn't stand for the National Anthem or he wouldn't put his hand across his heart for the National Anthem when he kind of converted his religions there. Bobby Hurley is stuck to the next card there for the Sacramento Kings. We have Bobby Hurley, and he's stuck to another 50-point club of David Robinson. There he is, first-round draft pick, Bobby Hurley. I couldn't stand Bobby Hurley when he played with Duke. Probably that's just because they were so good. Bobby Hurley, there's our first draft pick card. And then Marlon Maxey, we saw him as the end card there. So, unfortunately, no Jordan made his appearance. Shaq and Anthony Peeler are definitely my favorite ones, but we still have the Skybox Pack, inaugural edition, 15 trading cards. You can see they have innovative stats. <laughs> Special NBA scouting computer lets you compare each player with the average of all players his position. See how a player might do if he played all 48 minutes of every game. Computer charge design using, utilizing state-of-the-art graphics and then powerful photographs, action fronts, and candid backs selected from the NBA photo archives. And you can see this Skybox company um, out of Churchill, Maryland. Skybox is always one of my favorites just because they were so creative in their designs and it really has stood the test of time. These cards are, wow, coming up on what, 30 some years old? And here you go. You've got Glenn Rice right on the back. Let's go ahead and flip these around. Steve Alford, who uh, was a coach there for Indiana for a while. Steve Alford, Jeff Malone. These are in really nice shape, too. If we get a Jordan out of here, this would be awesome. Mark Price. There you go. Haas of Cards. Mark Price. If you're interested in a Mark Price card, just let me know. Michael Holton for the Charlotte Hornets. Vinny Johnson for the Detroit Pistons. Sedale 3 making his appearance again, this time, in the Skybox pack. Kelvin Upshaw. We have a Mark Bryant there with the Trailblazers. Next is Mitch Richmond, who played his college ball not too far from me at Kansas State. John Sunvold went to the University of Missouri and now calls a lot of their games, play-by-play -play and uh, analyst guy, really nice guy. Mike Jeminski there for the Sixers, going over Manute Bowl. Look how long his arm is, seven foot seven or however tall he was. We've got a Donald Royal. Unfortunately, haven't seen any stars yet in this pack. Next is Never Nervous Purvis Ellison. Look at those baby blues, Sacramento Kings. Never Nervous Purvis. There's Sean Kemp. That's the best card so far. I believe that might be his rookie card, Sean Kemp. Look at his picture there on the back. Look at that. <laughs> Sean Kemp was always one of my favorites. And then a Glenn Rice sharpshooter card right there. Glenn Rice was a really good three-point shooter. All right, guys. So, unfortunately, Jordan Pippen, the big-time stars, Larry Bird, Magic Johnson, they avoided us this time. But that's okay. It was still fun ripping into these packs. I hope you enjoyed it because I know I did. Leave a comment with your favorite card, and I will catch you in another video. Be good out of there, everybody.